Up Week edition of Bet or Forget. I'm Brittany Taylor. He's Wayne Hawks. Wayne, Bet or Forget. Joe Marrera's ride on Sulcum cost him the Melbourne Cup. Bet and double down. Bet and bet and bet. Did cost Sulcum the victory. 100%. I'm going to say forget because I don't think we can definitively say that had Joe followed without a fight through that Sulcum would have won. No, we can't definitively say, but he was following the winner. He didn't know that at the 500 metre mark and uh, the rest was uh, carnage. Has he made an error in not following the winner? Yes. Does that mean that it would have been close in the finish? Yes. Can we say that without a fight would have lost? No. Well, I think he should have. The uh, If you watch the Royal Show with the kids in the Dodgem cars, that was like watching Sulkham at the 400 metre mark and it just went uh, horribly wrong and you can't lose your momentum in any race, let alone at the end of a two mile race. So I think his run was fantastic. Yes, the last 100 metres, he wasn't pulling any ground off the winner, but what he spent between the 600 and the 300, you'll never get that back again. You know what? I reckon Joe needs to bet to forget Melbourne Cup Day 2023. That's all about the magic man, Britt. What about the magic horse, Vauban? Was he an overrated favourite? Bet or forget? Bet. I think he was. You know, no international favourite has ever won the Melbourne Cup. So? Well, Vauban adds to that list another beaten favourite in the Cup. He didn't travel over that well, obviously. His coat didn't look right in the mounting enclosure. It was the first time I've ever laid eyes on him and I wasn't overly impressed with what I saw. But that's the biggest challenge for the internationals, isn't it? The fact that they need to come halfway around the world. They need to acclimatise to our conditions. It was a hot day there at Flemington. And his first up at 3,200 metres, there was a lot, I think, that was probably going against him and people were out there calling him memorial. You're right to a point. But look at it this way. Ryan Moore came out here for one ride. Hell of a long way to sit up the front of the bus and get free drinks. He wasn't doing it for that reason. He genuinely had to think that his horse was going to win. Because Ryan Moore, the world's greatest jockey, does not need to earn frequent flyer points, Britt. It's that simple. Next year, I reckon Vauban should be here because he'll be favourite again. And then he'll give us a whopping. I'd like absurd. I'll take the stable name. No, stick with Vauban, folks. All right, Cup Day aside, how about this one? Champions Day has now replaced Derby Day as the best day of the Melbourne Cup Carnival. Bet or forget? You serious? Forget it. Derby Day's Derby Day. Great horses. Black and white attire was for the for the day on Saturday. On Champions Day, someone's going to be there in a Batman suit. Wayne, I didn't expect you to be a fashionista going on which day is better based on what people are wearing. I'm going as Batman. What about the horse flesh? Let's think about what horses that we've seen on Derby Day and what we'll see on Champions Day. The difference with Derby Day is you've got the young horses. Wakeful, hopefully going to be an Oaks winner. Derby that becomes a new staying horse. You've got the Coolmore, which is the stallion making race. You don't have those races on Champions Day. No, but do you know what you do have is you have the household names. And Peritry is the best sprinter in Australasia, taking on In Secret and Asfura. But how is that not the best clash you'll see all week? They might be the best clash, but Derby Day is Derby Day. And you can't eat tradition, I get it, but it's the first day of the Melbourne Cup Carnival and Derby Day is for the racing purists. The other three days, it can be hot and cold, Derby Day is where they all are. No, not now that we have this revamped Champions Day. Alligator Blood, Mr Brightside, these are the horses that the Australian public know and want to see. you're a name dropper. Well, Serious yeah. Serious name dropper. Yeah, well, that's... These are the names we're going to see on Champions Day. Well, then you know what? The horses from Derby Day next year, we'll see them on Champions Day. Derby Day is oh, Derby gee, Day. I can't wait. Don't Let, go back in Derby months. Day. No, don't go back in Derby Day. I'm not bagging it. I'm just saying Champions Day is better. No, it's not. Forget it. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see indeed. And we'll see you next week on Battle Forget. Imagine what you could be buying instead. For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.